Have you been having fevers and chills, Granny? Um, just yesterday and today. Mm-hmm. How long you had diabetes? Oh. She's had it for a while, and unfortunately, due to finances, she's not taken any medicines over the last year. Uh oh. So we're gonna get her on some. Uh, we're gonna give her some samples. We're gonna get her on medicines that are free or nearly free with her insurance. There we go. And we're gonna get her on the name of some austerity. I know it hurts more now because I'm blowing this thing up. Okay. Everybody step back. This is gonna probably cause a little bit of a eruption here. Mm -hmm. Let me get out of the way here. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna feel a little, if you feel a lot of pain, let me know. Ooh, wow. Ooh. What do you think, Jenny? I love this. Don't forget Misty. Okay, Misty, what do you think? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Take a deep breath there, Granny. You're going to feel a lot better when you get rid of this. You okay? Well, we're okay. It's probably relative to how much mm -hmm. pain she's in right this minute. The pain's going to get better. Immediately. It's okay. Can't believe the doctor would send you away from the hospital with this still intact. They sent her from the ER. Was it the ER? Mm-hmm. They discharged her. And they this said is because mm -hmm. her sugar was was too high. They said her sugar was too high, and so they wouldn't release the abscess. They wouldn't drain this. Mm -hmm. That's just. And the only treatment for an abscess is to drain, drain it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else works. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You can give them all the antibiotics mm -hmm. in the world, but unless you drain this dude, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit more here. Is it a lot of pain you're in? Yes. Okay. Bless your heart. Mm -hmm. so now, the, the drainage is almost done. I'm just okay. this is just try to give you a little more relief from the discomfort. Are you gonna pack it? Yeah, we're gonna have to pack this because it's so large. I think mm -hmm. I got it pretty opened up pretty good. I'm going to put a couple of, maybe one retention stitch in just so it doesn't have a big gap. 5-0? Yeah. Large. Hey, Granny, I'm Dr. Gilmore. I don't know if I've met you before, but do you mind if I video your procedure? That's fine. We'll share it on the, yeah. online with our friends on YouTube and, mm. and tell their that. story. It just breaks my heart when somebody goes to the emergency room with a problem and they don't get the treatment they're supposed to get. But you had a good doctor, so mm -hmm. he's taking care of you. The good news is it's all going to oh. get better from here. She is one. I know I'm hurting you a little bit, but we're making some great headway here. This has been here for a long time. The the cyst has, and so it's it's kind of the infection. It, what it does is it breaks down the the uh, lining of the cyst and so it kind of mushy mm -hmm. and part of the problem with that is sometimes the cyst will recur because you can't get all of it out right so but if that happens we can deal with that later on when it's not an emergency like it is right now for you I know I know this has mm -hmm. been the okay mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a little packing now, put some packing in here. And all this packing is to make sure that it continues to drain. Mm -hmm. And we don't want it to, because uh, we want any pus in there to continue to come out. Mm -hmm. That's the goal, is not to let it build up into a pocket again. Because when it's in a pocket, the body can't get to it. Uh, to The white blood cells can't reach it, so it just can't get fixed. Okay, good. Looks great. You got a little tail now. <laughs> and then we're going to put, I'm going to put a retention stitch in just because I got a big old gash here and I don't want it to, and I'll get you on some antibiotics and then hopefully by then you'll have all your medicines on board and your sugars will be better and everything. Okay. They're going to clean you up. Okay. 
Thanks for letting us record, Granny. No problem. I don't have to record you, but I, I really liked you because you're so photogenic and no. you're very happy. And people want to know more about coconut anyway. So tell me what you were going to tell me. Go ahead. Coconut loves Meta 7, okay? Why? Because look, I could not get comfortable for anything last night. I went to sleep at 1 o'clock this morning, woke myself up around 5, and I have been knocking patients out all day nonstop, and I still have a whole mess of energy. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore, for making Meta 7. Okay, so you took Meta 7 this morning. Yeah, and I take it every just, morning. You take it every morning. And so even though you had a hard time sleeping last night, you took Meta 7 this morning, and now you are a medical assistant machine. I am a machine. I'm a tank. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for the free testimonial. Thanks. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin, extra virgin coconut oil, and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chapped lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice, we'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90 day supply today.